hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at some of the different ways we can scan for ports using nmap uh, i'll go ahead and open the terminal on this Kali linux machine and we'll look at the first example here the uh, example i'm gonna show doesn't use any parameters it's gonna be a scene scan uh, so the command is gonna be nmap dash s for scene scan the IP address of the target machine 1.100 press enter and what this does it's gonna scan for the first 1000 ports so in this case it's showing that 977 ports were closed or TCP ports were closed and then it's showing us all the ports that are open here so this is the list so let's go ahead and look at the second example when, where I'm going to specify the ports using the P parameter. And I will repeat the first command, but I'll add dash P. And with dash P parameter, you can specify individual ports. I can say 20, 21, uh, 22. I can list different individual ports, separating them using commas. I can also specify a range, I could say 50 here to let's say 100 and press enter and it's going to scan for just that range. It's going to scan for port 21, 22 and anything in between this range here and as you can see it's scan 21, 22 and only found 53 and 80 which are within this range right here. And let's look at the next example. Now the next example is going to be using the parameter top ports. So if I scroll back up and what I'll do is I'll change here and add the parameter uh, top ports and with this I can specify how many ports I want uh, let's say top 10 ports top, top 20 and it's going to scan for only 10 ports the top 10 ports so it's scanned for the top 10 ports TCP ports and this is what it's showing us right here. We'll move ahead and look at the next example. Now the next example specifies to scan for the top 100 ports and we can use dash F as the parameter. Let's see that example. Uh, we'll change this to dash F uppercase F. Uh, what this does, it's just gonna scan for the top 100 ports and as you can see here it says 82 closed TCP ports and the rest that it was able to find are listed here. Now this is the same as saying we can get the same results using top ports and just specifying 100 it should give us the same results. Now if you wanted to scan the entire range of ports the entire possible range of ports you can use the dash p and specify that range let's look at the example that we'll use here we'll use dash p and then we'll start from port 1 and 2 port 6 5 5 3 5 which as i said scans the entire range of ports and that's going to take a while because it's going to scan quite uh, a few number of ports to get the results. So in this case, let's see, there's quite a few that are closed, 65,505. And everything else that was open, it's listed here. Uh, let's look at the last example now. So the last example is to scan for both TCP ports and UDP ports on the same command. Uh, let's repeat the command and let's add here an option for UDP ports dash s u uppercase u and what we can do here we can also add some parameters here so to scan for TCP ports we can put dash p t colon for TCP let's specify port 80 and port 443 and then put a comma and uppercase u to specify the UDP port colon and then let's say port 53 UDP and then a range here 
say 140 to 150 press enter and let's see what results we get so as you can see we got tcp port 80 and port 443 and then the rest are udp ports port 53 and then since we specified 140 to 150 it's showing us the results which are closed closed open filtered so that's all for this video those are the different ways we can scan for ports with the nmap so i hope this information has been helpful i'll catch you in my next video thanks bye